today we did lesson 7-1, multiplication of mixed numbers. Your goal was to use the area mar model and partial products to multiply mixed numbers. And we did several of these in class. So it says for problems 1 and 2, use the rectangle to make an area model. Label the sides. The, the model in problem 1 has been started for you. That's the one we're going to work together. So I have my rectangle. I'm going to highlight it in yellow. Here's my rectangle. That was my start. Now, the first, the easiest thing to start with is our whole number 5. So, right here is my 5 because we're not splitting that side up at all. Then, we look at our next number, 4 and 3 eighths. So I need to, it's not a whole number, so I'm splitting it right down the middle, and I'm going to exaggerate my line. So I have 4 and 3 eighths right there. So now I have to do my partial products. So I'm going to start with my whole number. So it says find and list the partial products, label the partial products in the area model. So let's start with what is going to be the easiest, which I think is the whole numbers. So if we start there with our whole numbers, I can list it. I'm going to change my color to green. So we know 4 times 5 equals 20. So I can put 20 in my area model. The next, I have to multiply 3 eighths by 5. And remember, a whole number can look like this, so it sometimes is easier for us to multiply. So, 3 times 5 is 15, and then 8 times 1 is 8, so then I have 15 eighths. Or, if I reduce that down, I have 1, 15 minus 8 is 7 eighths left over. So that's what goes into our other little box right here. So what is my answer? You could have 20 and 15 eighths, or... 20 plus 1 is 21, and 7 eighths left over. Your next one is 2 and 3 fifths times 3 and 1 third. This one's going to be a little trickier, but my hint to you is you're going to need to break your box up into four parts. And you'll have 1, 2, 3, 4 partial products to add together. Then down at the bottom, it says to write a number story that matches problem one. And then four and five, you're solving that addition. Remember, your first step is to find your common denominator.